I can't stop laughing when I look at this um, new blog from the Windows Club. They're talking about what happened after your, uh, what happened after you, you die, and then how, what happened to your email address. People couldn't get response from your email address. Maybe they don't know. Um, at first, I was laughing, and then uh, I think it's actually very really useful. So I decided to make a video. Because, for example, one of my good friends, he passed away a while ago. So um, when when people send him email, of course, there's no response at all. With this Google Inactive Account Manager, what happens if you die or if you have an accident, you're not able to answer the email, someone will actually take over automatically. So this is a very good, useful feature from Google. And again, thanks for Windows Club. I never noticed before. I never noticed before. Um, now, I just want to show you how to set up this. It's pretty simple, easy. In this blog post, they already give you some um, steps how to do it. So I think I should make a video to make it more clear. So what you need to do, let me open my testing email address. So this is one of my email address just for testing. So if you go, if you click here, and then go to your account. So in the account area, under your account management, there's one area that says control what happened to your account when you stop using Google. So let's click the link. Okay, now it will actually go into next steps. Click that. The first thing you need to set up is add the mobile phone number. So you put some someone mobile phone number. For example, if if it's a home email address, maybe you put your wife's or children's phone number. If it's a working email, maybe put your uh, assistant's mobile number. And then after you put the number here, you will receive the verification code on your mobile phone. Then you type in that one. And this one is confirmed. And then you can add alternative email address. So what happens if after a little while you haven't used, let's say you haven't accessed your email for a little while, then your email will automatically forward to the new email address. So put someone email address, someone else's email address there. Make sure to not put your own email address or another email address which is controlled by you. I know some of them have a multiple email address, but don't do that way because you're not going to receive anywhere. You're already dead, right? <laughs> um, so time period, I think this one is very important. Um, so let's say normally you will access your email every day or at least every week. I think most of us access email at least every week. So if I think this one is pretty reasonable. So if I put, say, three months, I haven't accessed my email. Say, check the detail here. Say your account will time out if you haven't signed in to your Gmail account for three months. So the minimum period is three months. Let's say after I had an accident or passed away, no one look after my email for three months, or your email will automatically forward to someone else which is very reasonable. And then contact, notice contact and share data. This one is quite interesting. With this one, add trust contact, you can add to um, 10 most close friends or family to send a notify uh, for your uh, email account is active, inactive. But uh, with this one, uh, share my data with contacts. You need to be careful because the person should be able to have all your data access. Like for example, um, you, uh, for example, you cannot access your email because you, you passed away. Your wife, she don't know your password. With this um, data sharing feature, she should be able to access your your data w uh, instead of logging to. So it's also very useful. What you can uh, do is you can set auto response in Gmail. You can say, hey, Kai is not able to answer your email for some emergency. This is my next 
close contact, say my wife's name, his number, so her number, or my colleague's name and a phone number. And then you can click save. And here is also important. You can put the only reply to people in my contacts. So if you want to this, if you want to this email set up, like auto response set up, be very very careful. You can select that. So it will only respond to people already have an email conversation with you before, which is more safe way to set up these kind of things. Okay. After that, click save. And optionally delete account. I think this one is pretty dangerous. I don't want to set up that. Like, so if you set up yes, like after three months or whatever period you set up here, it will delete your account. So everything will gone, which is not very good idea. So let's say you know you passed away. Your wife or your colleague want to access your email. Something is very、really、important. It can be delete. So better keep there. So don't use this option. And then, then click enable. So go into next step. So your account will be set up properly. Let's try. It, see how it goes. I never tried this before. Interesting. It has not been. Okay. You need to provide the mobile phone. So this is. So I think after I put my mobile phone number, which is I just give you. Some random number. So after you set up your mobile number, you should be able to click the enable to enable this process, which is automatic running in the background. So just recap: after three months, you haven't logged into your Gmail account. The system will trigger those automatic process. Which is pretty useful in long term perspective, but anyway, I I I have to thanks for Winners Club to share this idea. Thanks for watching. See you on next vhow dot net video. And again, if you have any comment or any question to ask, put the question on the blog post or on our YouTube video. See you.